if you're not sure about how to format a USB storage device and use it to expand the storage of your Fire Stick, Fire Cube or Fire TV, then I've created this complete video guide that will help you through the process step by step. Let's get started. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. Before choosing which USB storage drive to use, there are a few factors to consider. Fire TV devices are formatted to FAT32, meaning that the maximum USB storage size you can use is 2 terabytes. However, Amazon recommends that you use USB devices that are no larger than 128 gigabytes. Amazon also recommends that high-speed USB 3.0 drives are used, even though Fire TV devices have a 2.0 USB port. This is because USB 3.0 drives tend to have faster read-write speeds and will perform better even when connected to USB 2.0 ports. It is important to note, however, that increasing storage may slow down your Fire Stick's performance when launching apps and navigating menus. This is because files on the USB storage cannot be read as quickly as those on the internal device storage. To avoid any issues, I suggest using SanDisk or Toshiba branded storage drives as I've never experienced any problems with these brands on any of my Fire Sticks. You can find links to my recommended USB storage devices in the video description and pinned comment. If you have a new storage drive that has a capacity of up to 32 gigabytes, it's most likely already formatted to FAT32. This means that you can start using it without any additional steps. However, if you have used the drive before, it may contain previous content that needs to be erased through manual formatting. When attaching your USB drive to some Fire TV devices, the device may handle the formatting automatically for you, depending on the Fire OS version and the current state of your USB drive. But if you attach your USB drive to your Fire TV and nothing happens, or you don't get the option to format the drive, it is recommended that you manually format your storage. If your storage drive is larger than 32 gigabytes, it may be formatted to XFAT, which also requires manual formatting. To format your USB storage drive, you will need a PC or laptop. If your storage drive is 32 gigabytes or below, it can be easily formatted using Windows Disk Management. However, if the size of the storage is more than 32 gigabytes, you won't be able to format it into FAT32 using Windows Disk Management. In this case, you will have to install free software that can help you with the formatting process. To format a USB drive that is 32 gigabytes or smaller to FAT32, follow these simple steps. Insert your USB drive into a USB port on your PC or laptop. Open File Explorer. On the left hand side, select this PC. On the right hand side, right click on your USB drive. Select Format. Ensure the file system shows as FAT32.
If you want to name your storage for easier identification, enter a name in the volume label box. Ensure that the quick format box is checked, then select start. Select OK. Your USB drive is now formatted to FAT32. If you need to format a USB drive that's larger than 32 gigabytes to FAT32, follow these simple steps. Open a web browser on your PC or laptop. Go to firetvsticks.com and select Downloads from the menu. Scroll down to the Tools section to find AOMEI Partition Assistant. Click on the download button and open the file to install the Partition Assistant. If you see a screen about upgrading, select Skip. Insert your USB drive into a USB port on your PC or laptop. Open AOMEI Partition Assistant and select Yes if prompted. Your storage will show up in the Partition Assistant. Right click on your USB storage drive and select Format Partition. Enter a name for your storage in the Partition label. Select FAT32 from the File System box, then click OK. Click Apply from the toolbar in the top left-hand corner. Then proceed and select Yes to continue. Your USB drive is now formatted to FAT32. By following my step-by-step -step guide, you now know how to format your USB storage to FAT32. The formatted storage can now be used with your Fire Stick to add extra space, share files, and install more apps. To learn more about the next steps and how to use your newly formatted storage with your Fire Stick, Fire Cube, or Fire TV, take a look at my Fire Stick storage playlist. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.